Skadoosh, skadoosh! Welcome back to the channel, my ninjas. I'm Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. I got a really funny one to tell you today. Uh, so last night, we all know, was good old... It was Thanksgiving in America, okay? And what we do on Thanksgiving is we all go out and we eat a lot of food, okay? That's basically what we do. And everyone gets, uh, everyone gets sleepy because of the stuff they put in the turkey and whatnot, you know. But we also, it's a, it's a day to drink a little bit of alcohol, okay? So we all were drinking and whatnot. Why can't I open this box? Here we go. So everyone's having a really good time, but I decided to get some beer I normally don't actually get, okay? And uh, it, it's, it, I like lagers, but this one I never got before. It was like Sam Adams Winter Lager or something. Um, and uh, it gave me really bad farts, okay? Now, my girlfriend, she has a, she has a seven-year-old, adorable little girl, okay, uh, named uh, Briella, and uh, we all get in the car, we're packing up the kids to head home. I get my son in the car, her son, um, her daughter, and um, uh, our daughter's friend, you know. We're all getting ready to leave. <laughs> we're in the vehicle, and my, my girlfriend runs back in, she forgot something, all right? Storm teed a lay by yes in bulk grind clock foil though, and <laughs> okay, okay, I'm stop laughing. Uh, I start ripping ass really bad. Like I mean, I'm really letting one loose right now, man. Like, uh, like no f's given. Um, it's coming out full force, and the beer I drank really gave me bad, bad like like shits. Like oh, solo Vinistrat, that's cool. First mythic. Uh, it's got death touch, return up to three target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Exile soul of Innistrad from your graveyard, return up to three target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Not a great card, though, so he's very limited play. Uh, but just hilarious, okay? We end up... Uh, she runs back in the house. I'm sorry, I'm so sidetracked right now. I'm, I'm, I'm in a crazy mood. I end up ripping ass really bad in the vehicle. The kid sticks her head out the frickin' window, man, and starts barfing. <laughs> it smelled so bad, I wouldn't let them roll the windows up. I had to roll him down. <laughs> she, she's able to, uh, she's able up to open up the door because it has like child locks on them or child, you know, whatever. I, I, I wasn't able to figure out because um, I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot how to get her window to roll down without my girlfriend. So like the child lock for the window is still on. Spectra Ward, there you go. But she ends up opening the door and just starts puking out the freaking door because my fart smelled so bad. It was the funniest thing ever. I told that story terribly, but it was, it was so funny. I wish I would have recorded it. I'm like, this would have got a million views. And I'm just dying laughing. Like, I'm, I'm sitting there just dying laughing, but she's, like, puking, and I feel terrible. Um, but then, long story short, it comes out. She was, it wasn't actually from the fart. Uh, she wasn't feeling well before that either. Part of the reason we decided to leave. But that fart, I mean, it was bad, though. It was really bad. If she would have thrown up just from that fart, I mean, I would understand. You guys got any crazy... Everyone farts, guys. It's part of life. You have to do it in order to uh, to, to survive. I hate to say it. Hot Soup's a good card. Mass Calcify is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, if you got any good fart stories, by all means, let me freaking know in the comments. Let me hear your best fart story, man. Uh, and when I fart, like, unless it's someone I just met for the first time, like, that's the only time, like, I'm a little embarrassed, you know, and I don't want to actually fart around people, and I feel like, okay, this is inappropriate, but any other time, I don't, I don't give a damn. If I know you for more than, like, a day or two, uh, best believe if I got a fart, you're gonna know about it, and I'll admit to farting. Like, I don't care. Um, this is always like that, you know, who smelt, you know, you smelt it, you dealt it kind of thing. I'll tell you if I ripped it, man. I don't care. I, I, I don't care. I'll, I'll let you know I ripped it. Yeah. Um, and sometimes, um, what's it called? When you <laughs> crop dusting, when you rip butt and then you walk around like a store or something to fan it out, you know, like, or like wherever you're at, you just start walking around and you crop dust in the whole area. Those are fun. But these farts were so bad. Like, I mean, every, that's a good card. Aether Spout's pretty cool for uh, each attacking creature. Its owner puts it on top or bottom of his or her library for each attacking creature. Its owner puts it on the top or bottom of his library. Okay, there you go. Good card. I mean, it's kind of like uh, what do you what you call it? Um, not path to exile. The exile card that we all play in standard right now. Um, settle the wreckage. Similar in the fact that you know it gets rid of all the attacking creatures. That's the only similarity. Everything else about the card is different, but pretty neat right there. Uh, yeah, I thought I definitely would share that with you guys. Scuttling Doom Engine, all up in the piece. Let's find out what's in store here, shall we? We're going to put these packs to the side. We're going to grab up Mr. Hunky Dory over here. 
And yes, we are, Mr. Hunky Dory. Come on out and play. We are going to grab up a booster pack of good old 2015 core set. Put them on the good old chopping block because that's how bad boy gaming likes to get down. For all my ninjas out there, skadoosh! Oh, nailed him in the face. I don't think he's doing too well there. Hopefully that was not a sliver lord. Uh, I would be very salty if we just busted open a sliver lord. The bell even went off. That was such a good blow to the face. If that was a sliver lord, I, I, please, please, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for half saying with the sliver lord. Lord, Lord, Miss Jefferson. Lord, 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 Lord. Yeah, punch that like button in the face if you guys are still watching this. I appreciate it. And we will crack open this busted up 2015 core booster pack in just a minute. This pack or this box was a little bit more. Um, I, actually, I got ripped off. I, I, at first, I got a good deal. Bam! Liliana Vess in the front. What is good, my girlie? Liliana Vess looking gorgeous as always. Target opponent discards a card. Touch your library for a card. Then shuffle your library and put that card on top of it. Put all creature cards from all graveyards onto the battlefield under your control. That is nasty. And a foil Dauntless River Marshal. Cool artwork on that. Cool. Pretty cool. I don't even know what I was talking about just now. I. I what? Yeah, wow, psychedelics, man. All right, keep it going, guys. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Broodkeeper stuff. That is some crazy artwork. Look at that thing, man. Star-shaped cluster muscle. <laughs> Giggity. Waste knot. Nice little hip for the set. But yeah, I did get a little ripped on this one. And uh, what is going on with organization here? Okay, we're, we're just all over the map here. I don't know. You know, you, you'll bust out an axe and everything just goes to hell really, really quickly. I hate that they put these stupid advertisement cards in here. At least give me some bonus points in Arena with this, you know? Like, throw in bonus points for Arena. Give me something, baby. Give them something to talk about. This has to be my least favorite spirit token. If anyone wants to know, this is my least favorite spirit token by Mike Sass. Just I, everything about it is trash. I hate it. I, I don't like looking at it. it. It's just, it's disgusting. It's, it's, it's awful. Now you all know. Actually, I think there might be one worse than that, but it's really similar, like... Very similar details on the card. Just, ugh, no thank you. But yeah, I ended up paying two Yavi Maya co uh, Coast. We'll take it. Oh, and the Garuk Emblem. It would be awesome to pull Garuk out of here. I'd be really pumped if we did. Golly gee whiz, mister. I doubt we will. But I bought this for $116, and that was a good deal at the time, I felt. It was a really good deal at the time. Uh, but then the price seemed to go down because it got a, it got a reprint. There was a big reprint from the set. Chasm Skulker, another solid rare right there. We'll take it. Um, the big reprint was the land. Oh, gosh, what was the land? Um, ooh, maybe we'll pull it. But the price has already dropped. It was really high. It was at like 20, it was at like 25 bucks at the time. And the foil was like almost 40 and then it got a reprint. Goblin Rabble Master, another solid hit from this set. Crowd's Favor, cool card. I do like that card. They probably started all of Battle Bond, for all we know. It sure probably did. And that's that's probably where they got the idea for Battle Bond. That single card right there. That crowd favor, that single card is probably what did it, I'm telling you, right now. It's probably not the case, guys. Staff of the Mind from Goblin Kaboomist. This is funny, he's gonna blow stuff up. And we got the landmine out the back. Let's get some organization here, Mossy. But the price went down on... What is it? So, someone in the comments... Come on, it's a really good card. Maybe we'll just pull it, and that way it'll, it'll spark that, uh, that thought process. I got cards on the floor. Aggressive mining is an absolute terrible card. Foil Mountain, I'll take that. I do like my Foil Mountains. I do collect Foil Land cards. Did you know that? If there's one thing Joey Moss collects, it's Foil Land cards. That'll be in a trivia one day. Foil lands. Basic lands. Non-basic lands. Uh, crazy, awesome, amazing, expensive lands. Bam! Jace, the $2 hit. Well, Jace, that just really... That's amazing, Jace. Actually, Jace, I'm going to give you to my son. He was just asking for a Jace. Jace, the Living Guild Pack. Let's give you the cheapest one there is, son. Just for you, pal. Just because I love you. I hope you're watching this video. I love you, Aiden. Jace is going to give you a $2 Jace. Joe, Joey's going to give you a $2 Jace. <laughs> Happy Merry Christmas, huh? There you go, huh? Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, everything else that goes with it. Uh. Burning Anger. There you go. 
This creature of damage equal to his power to target creature or player. Cool card. If you can give something indestructible and make it big, just imagine that thing just taking people to pound town. Just like baboosh, kadoosh, kadoosh. Probably more, more so like in a commander kind of format, I would imagine. Burning Anger might have some success. Correct me if I'm right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Evolving Wilds. Man, this must be a brand new card. I, did they just start printing these? Sacrifice Evolving Wilds, search your library for a basic land card, and put it on the battlefield, tap and shuffle. It's a really good card. It's a really good card. It's probably like five, six bucks. Really cool card there. Holy crap. Uh, Mercurial Pretender. Yeah. Mercur Mer 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 Mercurial. A Cursed Spirit. Oh, I love my spirits. I do like my spirits. That's why I was so ashamed by some of these spirit tokens. I was just like, that's disgusting. It really hurts my feelings. It really does. It really does. It also hurts my feelings when you watch this far. I don't hit the like button. I feel a little shaded. I must say, I really do. Staff of the Flame Magus, Ancient Silverback, Sacred Armory, Shield of the Avatar. What does it even do? If a source would deal damage to equipped creature, prevent X of that damage, where X is the number of creatures you control, equip for deuce. How about that? How about that? God, that was the worst story I told in the beginning. I could have done it a little better. <laughs> so much hype, and it just... Oh, man. All right, no more talking about farts. Let's keep it a fart-free one. Fart-free zone, guys. Fart-free zone. Brawler's Plate. Haunted Plate Mail. Not too bad. Have we only pulled three Mythics so far? I think three Mythics. Let's find out what's inside this busted-up pack. Oh, don't be up. Don't be, don't be something stupid. I swear, if it's, if it's a sliver... If it's a sliver, I'm, I'm going to be so upset. Uh, Verdant Haven. Grave Digger. At least we could bring it back. Staff of the Sun Magus. Profane Memento. Is that it? Nope. Return to the Ranks. Oh, Return to the Ranks was a solid one. Idiot. Idiot. Yeah, idiot. Joey Monster, an idiot. You're an idiot. Idiot. All right, all right. Return to the Ranks is a good card. We got Paragon of the Fierce Defiance. Oh, boy. Chief Engineer. There is that. Get the island. And we got the... the well, stop printing stuff that doesn't do anything, wizards. It's not very nice of you guys. It's not very nice at all. So I got a question to ask you guys. And a serious one for you guys who love this channel. Would you rather see me open two booster boxes of Ultimate Masters for the first time... Ooh, Avacyn Guardian Angel, pretty cool. For the first time that we open up uh, Ultimate Masters product, or would you rather see one booster box of Ultimate Masters in that video? I think it's kind of a stupid question, but I really want to gauge your guys' interest. Serious question. I really want to hear your feedback. Would you rather me open, for the first time, anyone on YouTube's open Ultimate Masters, would you rather see two booster boxes in one video or one? Let me know, please, in the comment section, because that's going to be happening pretty soon. We will be cracking that open about two weeks from now, so keep that in mind. Life's Legacy. I love that unicorn. I love that unicorn. I want it in foil just so I can see these little yellow auras light up. That is all. That is all. But this booster box right here that I cracked, because uh, the top, some of the top dollar cards went down in price, I can definitely see this box selling for the price dropping to like 110 105 I mean, really. They print the most expensive card in the entire set. It's got to go down to like 105. If it doesn't, I don't want to tell you. Paragon of Open Graves. I actually used that in a deck tech once. Belligerent Sliver, Wall of Frost, and Twin Grove. Cool artwork on that. It really is. Oh my god, I still have gas from yesterday, guys. I still have gas from yesterday. I, think I made a kid throw up. Oh my god. I really think it was the fart that made her throw up. I, mean, I don't think it was. <laughs> I didn't really think they'd throw forward, did it? Cruel Sadist and a foil lightning strike. Hails to the yeah. We'll take it. I love my foils, but I really love my foil lightnings and stuff like that. So that card, that's a nice hit to me. That is a nice little hit to me. Skadoosh, skadink. Hails to the yeah, player. I will take it. I will take it to the ice. I'll probably be going on Twitch tonight also, because I missed yesterday because it, it was a holiday. So if anyone wants to catch me on Twitch, I should be over there. I should be in Garuk's Awake. You find a link in the description of every video. Obnixless Unshackled Foil! Give me that shit! That's like the freaking, uh, that's the most expensive rare you can pull in the entire set. And we just freaking pulled it, the foil version of it. 
Obnix was unshackled. That is ridiculous. Flying trample whenever an opponent searches his or her library. Uh, that player sacrifices a creature and loses 10 life. Whenever another creature dies, put a plus one plus one counter on Obnix list unshackled. Really freaking cool card. We just pulled. That's ba that's badass. That is badass. We just pulled it, baby. Give me a like on that one. Jesus, crikey, mates. Big hit there. That's the biggest rare hit you can get in the entire set. Minus, uh, what is it, the Yawgmoth card? That's a foil. That's a rare. That's a, that's a, it's a mythic. It's a mythic. Um, the land card that I was talking about earlier. Return of the ranks. Good, we got it back. Hooray. Hooray for getting it back. Ugly artwork. Boo. Hooray. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm pumped about that. Link in the description of every video. Uh, Covenant of Blood, Meteorite. All right, all right. Start of the masses, Stab Wound, Genesis Bulk. Can't even read it. So ashamed in you, Genesis Bulk. You failed me conclusively. Conclusively. There's nothing more I'd like to see than Bulk Genesis Hydra. Conclusive. Conclusively. Conclusively. <laughs> we got a Johnny's Pride Mate. Stuff. Grave Digger stuff. Feral. Sliver Hive Lord, baby. Give me that knife. We got her. We got her. That's what we wanted. Finally got her with a skirmisher in the background. Why did we want it? Because Sliver Hive Lord is gorgeous. Sliver creatures you control have indestructible. Five, five. Punish that face, baby. If only we pulled the Garouk. We would be just on firecratch with this box right now. It really would be. That would just be amazing. All right, we got four packs to crack, Captain. Let's see what happens. Four packs to crack, Captain. Dauntless River Marshal, Blast, Magus, Hornet Nest, Salad, we'll take it. A lot of bees up in this set, that's right. They, they, they have a lot of bees in this set. We took our time for this one, thought I'd go a little longer with an opening. Thought I would, thought I would. Let me know what you think of that. Turn to Frog, Active Impulse, Dissipate, Ultimate Bulk. We have some more Ultimate Bulk. Why can't we stay away from the Ultimate Bulk? Is it even possible? Can Joey Moss stay away from the Ultimate Bulk? One day we'll find out together. Until then, kumbaya, my friends. Kumbaya. Feast of the Fallen. I like how this one dude's like kicking this dude in the face and dislocating his jaw. That's a lot of fun. Back to nature, devouring light, and siege dragon. I like my dragons. I'll take it all day. Got the land and a bulk card that doesn't do anything. Advertisement. Way to go, Otzi. As if you didn't need to advertise enough. What are we going to get here? Gargoyle Sentinel, Warden of the Beyond, might make right spirit bonds out the end. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay uh, planes. If you do, put a 1-1 white spirit creature token with falling out of the battlefield. And then produce sacrifice a spirit, target non-spirit creature gets indestructible until end of turn. There you go. Nothing ridiculous. Garbage out the back in the end. Again, punch that like button if you enjoyed this kind of video. I hope you guys did, and uh, I appreciate all of you for watching. As always, PLA.